Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm Erin, if you guys are new here, I post a video every Thursday on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss them. I got back home from Nashville on Saturday, today is Tuesday, and I'm heading out of town on Thursday, so a pretty chaotic week. I have a lot of like tasks to get done today, not like a crazy busy day, but just a lot of things to do. As for the video, I'm gonna take you guys along with me today for a full day of eating and just showing you guys everything I eat, how I make it, and the calories and macros that are contained in it. I feel like this is the one piece of content that has been highly requested throughout my entire time on social media, just like eating and nutrition. I don't really talk a lot about how much I eat, what I eat, how I approach it, stuff like that. So we're gonna do that today and I'll kind of talk throughout the video about my current goals, how I'm approaching things, and just why I eat what I eat, why I do what I do, and my entire fitness lifestyle. And then we're also gonna hit a push day at the gym. So I'll take you guys with me for that and just do a little walkthrough of the day, the workout. And I'm pretty hungry. So let's go make our first meal. First meal of the day. If you guys watch my Instagram stories, you probably know what it is. Bison, eggs, and Parmesan. I'm not really sure how I came up with this meal. I feel like I was trying to fill my macros one night and I made it and then I ended up becoming obsessed with it. And I've had it almost every single day since then. So. We're gonna make that. Also a note about eating in the morning. It's about nine o'clock right now. This is my first meal of the day. I eat five to six times a day, so my meals are a little bit smaller. But as far as what you eat in the morning, I used to eat like a pretty high carb meal in the morning just because I thought carbs give you fuel, carbs are energy, it's good, I'll have energy to start my day. That's not what I experienced at all. I would wake up, eat like a super high carb meal, go on a walk, come home, and like wanna take a nap. Then I met Brian and he basically was explaining to me carbs, fat, protein, how to make you feel, when you should eat them and stuff like that. And so now I start my day in the morning with fat and protein. And then after a couple hours, I make a carb smoothie, which you guys will see next. But I just thought that was interesting because now when I have bison and eggs in the morning, just fat and protein, I have so much more energy and I can get tasks done and I don't feel like I'm in a carb slump. So a little reasoning behind why this is my first meal. Um, bison. I get from any grocery store, a lot of people are like, oh my God, where do you find bison? Literally anywhere, Walmart, Target, Sprouts, Whole Foods, Safeway, King Supers, your local grocery store. It's about $11 for a pack and it's 90 10. This is the Parmesan I use. And then we always have a lot of eggs in this house. So I'm gonna cook the bison first and then throw it all together. Bison is finished. I'm gonna make a couple eggs. The trick for this is to keep the yolks runny. Sometimes I'm not the best at that, but if you keep them runny, it kind of acts as like a little bit of sauce for the bison and the cheese. I don't know, it just tastes better. So I'm gonna cook two eggs and hopefully not break the yolk. That first one almost fell off the pan. Now we're gonna throw it all together. Scale, I do three ounces of bison, two eggs, and 20 grams of parmesan. Eggs. Parmesan. Looks like this, and then we're gonna mix it up. I genuinely look forward to this meal every single day and I feel like that's a trick with tracking macros, finding a healthy diet, is just finding the things you actually enjoy eating because you end up looking forward to them. Like I'll be on a trip and I'm like, damn, I would really like some bison and eggs right now. This entire meal, we're at 361 calories, 35 grams of protein, 24 grams of fat, and less than a gram of carb. As far as my current goals and like how I'm tracking, I'm tracking at maintenance right now. My macro goals are 2,342. My protein goal is 160, my fat goal is 78, and my carb goal is 250. So a good bit of food. Another thing to keep in mind is I walk a lot. I walk about three to five miles a day just with my treadmill desk. Honestly, one of the best investments that you can make for your fitness journey, a healthy lifestyle, whatever you want to call it. It just makes doing steady state cardio so much easier. I have so much computer work to do every day that I just hop on my treadmill and end up walking three to five miles. So obviously adds a good bit of calories that I can then take in, which I love. And the other thing too is I try to be pretty strict when I'm at home with like staying on routine, tracking macros really accurately, walking, sticking to my training program pretty heavy because as you guys know, I do travel a good bit. And when I travel, I like to be pretty 
do whatever I want. I eat whatever I want. I drink a good bit. You guys know I like tequila. And I just find that if I'm about 80% super on track, super in routine on my shit when I'm at home, that 20% when I'm traveling, I get a little bit more leeway and I can do what I want without having insane consequences for my physique or my training and that kind of stuff. So just something to keep in mind. If you need a little push to go out and live your life, this is the one. Just make sure when you're at home and that other 80%, you're really on track and on top of your shit so that you're able to go out and, and do those things. I finish this up and then I've got some computer work. So we're gonna go up and walk a little bit and I'll see you guys in a couple hours when we make my next meal. Psych, I almost forgot caffeine. This doesn't really count for calories or macros because there are none. But locked up energy drinks, definitely my favorite thing. I try not to have caffeine until like a good bit into the morning. I used to wake up and the first thing I would put in my body is an energy drink and that's just so bad for you. It's bad for your cortisol, it's bad for you. Don't do it. Drink water first, have food first, go on a walk first, do something. If you're waking up and the first thing you're needing to like function is caffeine, there's probably something else off that you can adjust. But this one is Sour Box flavor. It tastes like a Smartie, a pack of Smarties, super good. So we're gonna take this upstairs and knock out some work and then we'll chat a bit. I just finished working for a couple hours. It's about 12.30 right now. I said I was gonna make a smoothie. Usually that's what I have for like my mid-morning meal, but I was not hungry at all. I'm still not super hungry. So I'm gonna cut the smoothie from the morning and probably add it to this afternoon after I'm done training. I feel like there's a lot of people that force themselves to eat when they're not hungry just to stay on track with like meal timing and stuff like that. I personally cannot do that. I just can't force food down. So I have to wait until I'm a little bit hungry. And generally, if I'm not hungry in the morning before I train, once I train, I'm like really hungry for the rest of the day. So I'd rather just save those calories out later so I'm not hungry later and have no calories left. Anyways, pre-workout meal, I'm gonna make some yogurt and berries and granola and then also grab an applesauce pouch. Um, it should be a good mix of carbs, protein, and a little bit of fat, which is what you want before you train. We're gonna do strawberry yogurt, the Oikos triple zero, fire macros. Um, also fire macros, this Nature Valley protein granola. Granola is one of those things that you have to be pretty moderate on when you're tracking if you don't have a good one, but this is a pretty good one. And then I just get these berries from Safeway. I know I'm lazy and should not be paying uh, extra for that, but I do. So let's make it. For the yogurt, we did one package of the strawberry triple zero, 50 grams of the protein granola, and three ounces of fruit. And I'm also gonna have this applesauce pouch, the raspberry flavor. I'm out of the cinnamon, this is not my favorite. Um, but total all together for this meal, we have 423 calories, 25 grams of protein, six grams of fat, and 67 carbs. So again, solid pre-workout meal, you wanna have a lot of carbs, a little bit of protein, and not a ton of fat for you train just because it takes your body longer to digest fat. And it's not the best energy. Um, carbs are gonna be the quickest digesting to give you that quick fuel that you need. We're gonna eat this, we're gonna go pick out a gym fit and we're gonna go to the gym for a push day. I'm kind of feeling a colorful vibe today. So let's do purple. What are those shorts? Hulu line shorts. And then we'll do this free to be serene bra. I don't like to do matching sets. I feel like if they're just a little bit off in color, it looks better. I don't know. I'm going to ignore the mess that exists behind me. I really suck at keeping my house clean when I'm traveling very often. Brian hates it. He's actually very clean. So I told him today that I would take care of this. So we're gonna do it when we get back from the gym. But anyways, purple fit. For a t-shirt, I'm gonna do this one. This Boston t-shirt doesn't exactly match, but I like it cause it's huge. And then shoes. We're gonna do these blazers. There's a little bit of purple right there. So we're gonna run with it. Last step before we go is pre-workout. So let's go make some. 
If you have not tried this flavor of pre-workout yet, you need to. It tastes like a cherry Jolly Rancher. It's super good. Just got a new container of it. This is the BAMP formula. It has nootropic ingredients. 333 milligrams of caffeine, so pretty high stem. And that's exactly what we're You want to go to the Jimmy? Quiet today. Not much to say. To the Jimmy! Uh -huh. Tightest garage of all time. Yep, yep. Good job. Passenger princess vibes today. We moved south of Denver and now we have about a 30 minute drive to the gym every day, so this is how we spend our time. We made it. How do you feel? Ready to F dash up. You can swear. You can swear. Fuck shit up. We don't keep it PG around here. Some people don't like it. Howdy. Happy boy. All right, you guys know the deal. I'm gonna switch over to my big camera to work out. I'm also super excited to be back in my gym filming the last, so dark in this hallway, last vlogs that I've done at a gym. I've been traveling and it's just not, it's just not the same. So we're gonna switch over to the big camera and do a warm up and then get into the workout. Yay. Okay, workout is, we're doing a push day, so chest, shoulders, triceps. I personally don't work out chest. Obviously I incorporate when I'm doing other movements, but I don't isolate chest. I got a boot job a couple years ago. I've talked about it a good bit. I still need to make a video like sitting down and going over like the entire process of it. But yeah, I don't do heavy bench press or any chest isolated movements, so I just swapped those out. So we're starting off with bench press. I'm gonna do a Viking press instead. Moving into seated dumbbell shoulder press, single arm dumbbell shoulder press, dumbbell overhead tricep extension, and then a superset of dumbbell lateral raise and dumbbell front raise, cable rope, tricep push downs, and then last superset of cable rear delt flies and cable chest fly. Also about face pulls for the chest fly. Hopefully that made sense. I'll obviously go through it as we get into it also. I'm probably just gonna film one set of each exercise, show you guys the form as we go. Just so it doesn't take up this entire video, I want it to be more about what I'm eating today. So gonna do a warm up and then get into it. What's up? Oh, I'm good. <sighs> it's the worst. You got it? Starting off with the Viking press. Again, the workout is written with bench press. The rep count's four by six, but I'm gonna swap it out for Viking press. I'm gonna do some warm up sets and then just show you guys one set. Um, I like this machine because you can go pretty heavy on it. It's an Atlantis machine. It was one of the first pieces I bought for the gym and it's still my favorite one. So I'm probably gonna work up to a plate, if not a plate and a 10, um, but I'm gonna do some warm up sets and then I'll show you guys my, I don't know why I keep spinning in circles. I'm gonna do some warm-up sets and then I'll show you guys my top set of six. All right, I just did a plate and it felt pretty good. So we're gonna go up to 55 pounds each side. And I think this is gonna be my top set. Ouch. Prep files. Next up we have dumbbell seated shoulder press. Rep count is three by eight, one by 15. So heavy sets of eight and then back off set of 15. I'm gonna start off with two sets of 35s and then holding those has me so out of breath. And then I'm gonna film my top set of 40s 
and hopefully get eight there. So let's see how these 40s feel. A couple tips for dumbbell seated shoulder press. The biggest one is I see a lot of people when they're pressing, they're coming down and forming a 90 degree angle directly to the side of their body. This is one, gonna hurt your elbow and two, most likely gonna injure your shoulder. So what you actually wanna do is you're coming down a little bit in front. So from the side, you can see it's at a tilt and then pushing back up. So when you're coming down, you're coming down at an angle. You're at about a 45 degree angle instead of a 90 degree angle. You can go heavier, it's gonna grow your muscles more and prevent injury. So that's the biggest tip. The other thing too is you wanna have a little bit of an arch. When you're shoulder pressing from here, straight up and down, it's gonna be a lot harder. So if you don't have one of these benches, you can use an adjustable bench and lean it to 75 degrees or 60 degrees. I like 60 degrees personally, I can just go heavier. Um, but this one puts you at a good position. So you're going like this. You can use these. Makes it a little bit harder on your core. Um, you just have more stabilization. But if you are here, you wanna focus on pushing your heels into the ground. And again, that 45 degree angle, big chest always, and then getting into the movement. Hopefully I can do eight of these. <laughs> Oh my God, that was hard. All right, I've got a back off set here and then we'll move into the next. Time has come for a little intra workout drink. I have this every time I train, Gator Light, 60 calories and 14 grams of carbs. And then I throw in creatine monohydrate. I get mine from Bucked Up, five grams every day, no matter what. It doesn't really matter what kind of creatine you get. You just wanna make sure that the only ingredient is creatine monohydrate. Bucked Up's is actually pretty cheap and you get 20% off if you use code ETKFIT also. So a good place to get it. Just made a mess. Gator Light is kind of like liquid IV by Gatorade, obviously. So it gives you electrolytes. There's sodium, potassium, chloride, magnesium, and calcium in there. And then obviously carbs also, which I just like to have in the middle of my lift because I start to hit a little bit of an energy slump and this brings me back up. So intro workout made. <laughs> <laughs> Next exercise, dumbbell single arm shoulder press, standing. So for this movement, very similar to the seated dumbbell shoulder press, when you're pressing, you wanna be moving at a 45 degree angle. Except for this one, we're gonna perform standing and we're only gonna be using one arm at a time. The way I like to do it is to put this arm out here. It just helps me keep my torso balanced so I'm not like wiggling around as I go. So you're starting here at a 45 degree angle and then just pressing up. I like to have a little bit of a wider stance, flexing my quads, flexing my glutes, keeping my core tight, and then going into the motion. Rep count here is three by 10 each arm. I'm gonna use 20 pounds and to it. All right, I've got two more sets of those and then moving on to the next. Into dumbbell overhead tricep extension. This is one of the movements that took me a little bit to get down when I started training. It just feels a little bit awkward, but when you get it down, it's super good for growing your tricep. So I'm gonna start with a dumbbell, throw it, whoa, throw it over your head. I hold it, this is super awkward. I hold it like this, just so it's a little bit more comfortable. And then from here, you wanna focus on keeping your elbows stationary, flare them as you go down, and you're pushing up with your triceps. Rep count here is three by 10 and then one by 15. So moderate weight for the 10 reps and then lighter weight for a burnout at 15. I'll show you guys one of my sets of 10 and then move into a super set. Oh my God, oh. 
I wish you guys could see my face on those reps. I'll be going down to 20 pounds for my 15 reps. That shit was hard. Tricep is on fire. Next up, we have a super set of lateral raise and front raise, 10 reps each, three sets. This is one of my favorite supersets for a really solid pump. Guys know a superset is two exercises paired together without resting in between, so we're moving directly into 10 reps of front raises. I like to do these on a seat with my back up just so I'm only using my shoulders and no momentum. Oh my god, I have two more sets of that. I'm gonna fucking die. Moving on to cable rope tricep pushdowns. Three by 15 is the rep count. My triceps are kind of toasted from earlier, so we're gonna take this a little conservative. Okay, that's really light. A little too conservative. Oh my god. Two more sets and then the final superset. We made it to the final superset. It is written as three sets of 15 each, cable rear delt flies and cable chest flies. Again, I'm gonna swap out face pulls for the chest flies. I've got two more sets of that. I'll show you guys the pump. We'll get out of here and keep eating. We did it. Another successful day at Transform Gym. How was your workout? Epic. Ryan's on prep. Eight weeks out. Looking lean. Not leaning. Bye, have a good one. I am now starving. I feel like a shell of a human. Uh, I'm gonna go home and eat immediately. Probably a good chunk of calories. It's about four o'clock right now. So we'll probably get home with our drive, probably at five, hopefully 4.45. Um, but it's already pretty late in the day. I usually go to bed around like 10 or 11. So I don't wanna be eating all the way up until then. Um, so I'm gonna knock out a good chunk of my calories for the day when we get back home. I'll show you guys what that looks like. Okay, no idea what happened to the audio here, so just gonna throw in a voiceover. We're gonna make two things. First thing is a chicken wrap, kind of like the McDonald's snack wrap, but made at home and healthier. First ingredient, carb balance tortillas, mission brand. You can find them at most grocery stores. Second ingredient, shredded chicken. I get mine at Sprouts. It's super juicy. It's a little bit more expensive, but also easier for meal prep when it's already prepared. Baby spinach, which I throw all over the counter and watch me struggle and have to pick that up. I swear I always make a mess when I'm in the kitchen. I'm just clumsy. Shredded cheese, I like the mild cheddar and Monterey Jack. You can use whatever you like. And then this ranch is so fire. I'm so picky with ranch. Ranch is the one ingredient that I could literally eat on anything. But I found this ranch a while ago and the macros are fire and it tastes really good. So we're gonna throw everything together and let's make a wrap.
I'm also gonna make a smoothie too, but I'm so freaking hungry. I'm just gonna eat this first and then make the smoothie. So for the chicken wrap that I probably should have used two tortillas for because it's very big, 280 calories, 28 grams of protein, 12 grams of fat, and 24 grams of carbs. And hopefully I can roll this up. We did it. Oh my God. The way that I ate that in literally 45 seconds. Smoothie time. For the smoothie, I do light orange juice, one container of the Oikos triple zero vanilla, spinach, and frozen fruit. If you guys don't already know this, I'm an extremely, extremely, extremely picky eater. I don't like any vegetables. Broccoli is really the only one that I like. And the reason I'm saying this is because this smoothie actually tastes really good. It honestly just tastes like fruit and orange juice. You can't taste the spinach at all. And uh, the macros are solid. So good way to get in some greens. Also that chicken wrap that I had, good way to get in greens. But yeah, I'm just really picky. So anyways, this smoothie, I did 300 milliliters of orange juice, one container of the vanilla triple zero Oikos yogurt, 200 grams of frozen fruit, and then a handful of spinach. I don't really track that. Um, total calorie count, we're at 258 calories, 17 grams of protein, 0.1 grams of fat and 47 carbs. So between the chicken wrap and the smoothie, we're feeling pretty good. As for now, I'm gonna clean up the kitchen and then gonna go upstairs, unpack the suitcase, do some laundry and start packing because we leave on Thursday. So gonna knock that stuff out and then I will see you guys when I eat in a couple hours. We've got one savory like protein healthy meal and then I saved some calories for the night to have like sugar and sweets. We're gonna make a diet frosted lemonade at home, high protein version. And then I also have some frozen fruit, whatever. I'll show you guys what I eat at night, but one more meal to go and then snacks. Okay, we are gonna fix this. Yay, much better. Also, I am beefing with my bed right now because I cannot figure out the bedding situation. I hate the black pillows. I don't love the comforter. I don't like that I have two cream pillows right there. So this is a project for a later date to update my bedding and get something that I actually really like because I feel like a college boy. I don't know, this just does not look good. Anyways, room is clean though. Okay, it's about 8.20. Um, I just finished all the chores, unpacking, doing laundry, and then doing a little bit of packing for Thursday. Um, just came down to make my meal and realized that I didn't have noodles that I needed for it. So Brian and I are gonna bike to Target and pick those up. He also needs some cat food, so. Just gonna knock that out and then I'll show you guys my last meal when we get back. Get you a man. All right, we secured the goods. Probably the sketchiest bike ride we've taken so far. You're just driving. So where do homeless people hang out? We are driving in the dark along a river in a secluded area for- With no lights. Two, three miles straight with zero lighting. Just expecting the next meth engine. Bro, I was waiting for someone to just pop out. <laughs> made it to Target, made it back alive. Um, this is the pasta that I wanted. This shit is so fire. Brian put me on this and I ate it every single night for like six months straight. We're gonna mix this bison shredded cheese. Definitely one of my favorite meals. It's also super easy to make and super easy to meal prep. When I was working at the gym like 12 hours a day, I would bring this and just microwave it for lunch. It also kind of tastes like an adult hamburger helper kind of. I don't know, it's really good. Calorie count for this, 
is 557 calories, 44 grams of protein, 22 grams of fat, and 40 grams of carbs. I'm also going to do this Chobani drink. These are also my go-to. I have one of these probably every single day. They taste really good. They taste just like yogurt. They also make a sugar-free one. Those taste more like Greek yogurt, but these are really good. 150 calories, 10 grams of protein, 17 grams of carbs, and three and a half grams of fat. So I'm gonna finish this, and then I'm gonna show you guys what snacks I'm gonna eat. I kind of switched it up just because it's so late. It's like 9.30, 9.45 at this point, and your girl is tired, so chat soon. All right, the time has come for the snacks. A couple tips. First tip, when I'm tracking, I always leave myself calories at the end of the night to snack, have something sweet. I just find that it's easier to stick to plan when I do that. Another tip is whether you smoke or don't smoke or just have trouble snacking, going to the cupboard when you're bored, whatever. I find that if I ration out my snacks that I'm gonna eat during my like chill time at night before I start like hanging out, it works better. So like I'm gonna gather all the snacks that I'm gonna eat for tonight and that's all I'm gonna eat. I'm not gonna go back to the cupboard. I'm not gonna add anything else. I don't know if this is making sense or if this is just common sense, but that's how I approach snacking at night. So for tonight, the macros that I have to fill, I have about 30 calories left. And with the breakdown of macros, this is essentially what I've come up with. I'm gonna have four sour strips. Mango flavor is the best flavor. Also, don't judge the combo because it's kind of weird and I'm just gonna be eating this over the next couple hours. Um, I'm going to have, these are super good. Yasuo makes a lot of really good products that actually taste good. I'm gonna have three of these and then Trufru, another one of my favorite brands. I eat these honestly probably every single night and I just weigh out some grams that fit my macros. So I'm gonna do 30 grams of these and that will break down to 297 calories, five grams of protein, nine and a half grams of fat and 46 carbs. So obviously today was a super good day of eating for me. I had time to do it. I prioritized making this video and having time to plan my meals and stuff like that. So this is like a perfect day of eating given really good circumstances, not being super busy, having to run around, whatever. I obviously don't eat like this every single day. I go to Chick-fil-A, I go to Starbucks, I go to Qdoba, I eat out here and there. I eat other meals too. Um, I was gonna have a diet frosted lemonade tonight that I make at home. I'll make that in a different video just because I was too tired and I didn't wanna cook anymore. I just wanted to grab my snacks and be good for the night. But yeah, again, so this was a perfect scenario, full day of eating. I'm gonna post some other videos if you guys wanna see like a full day of eating out, that might be fun, like going to different restaurants and finding things that fit your macros. Maybe I just do these once a month and you guys can get a variety of meals that I'm eating and seeing where I'm at with goals and stuff like that. I think I'm gonna go into a bulk later this year. But yeah, anyways, enough rambling. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If you guys wanna see more of these videos, let me know if there's specific restaurants you want me to go and try for questions or whatever, just leave them in the comments. As for next week's video, I'm not sure it's either gonna be a Nashville vlog or it's gonna be a cruise vlog because we're gonna go on a cruise on Thursday with the Bucked Up fam, so that's super exciting. But either way, it should be fun. So subscribe to the channel, make sure you don't miss it, and we will see you next time. Bye.